Hey guys, welcome back to Mondays at the Museum. I'm Carrie, and I'm here at the Anna Bemis Palmer Museum in York, Nebraska. So, a lot going on this week at the museum. Uh, really excited this morning. I got to speak to a group at Belmont Recreation Center, which was awesome. Uh, we're making a lot of progress in our inventory project in the basement. The art display is still up and running. If you haven't stopped by, make sure to do so before August 2nd. And the community artwork competition is still going. You have until tomorrow at 4 p.m. to come in and cast your vote for your favorites. And as a reminder, July 3rd, the winners will be announced. The top three in each category is going to be entered into the museum's permanent collection. So big, important votes. Uh, make sure to swing by the museum sometime between 10 and 4 tomorrow morning. So I've had a lot of people ask me for more details about the program that we have coming up on Saturday, which is July 6th from 3 to 4 p.m. here at the museum. It is a free program. So the title of it is a little bit of a mouthful. Okay, picturing the Midwest, regionalist art and other representations of rural American life. So what does that mean? Basically, we are going to be talking about how artists of the 30s and 40s viewed rural America and then its lasting impact on the art world. Um, we have a guest speaker that is coming. So I worked for Lincoln City Libraries for 13 years, and for several of those years, I worked side by side uh, with a lady named Jackie Spackman, who is now with the University of Nebraska Fine Arts Program. She does have an art degree, and I have always wanted to work with her with this art exhibit to give her the opportunity to teach a class. She came and took the tour. I think she had something in mind that was completely different before she took the tour, and then it was just like, hey, look at all this Midwestern artwork. Let's talk about that, that's great. So, according to Jackie, she is going to be talking about artwork from the 30s and 40s, the regionalist movement, how it fits into the art world uh, during that time, and then its impact, its lasting impact. Uh, she says she will also focus on a few Midwestern artists, not necessarily all from Nebraska, but sort of in this area. Um, and then we are going to reflect on the artwork that is currently up here at the Anna B. Miss Palmer Museum and I uh, recognize some themes in that artwork. So again, that is this Saturday, July 6th from 3 to 4. It's a free program. The museum will be open from 2.30 to 4.30. So for those of you that want to come a little bit early and take a tour or stay a little bit late, you are welcome to do that. Um, the artwork exhibit again is open until August 2nd and we hope to see you on Saturday.